carbohydrate supplies the body with heat and energy. It is found mainly in vegetables such as yam, green banana, and breadfruit, also in rice, cereals, and also in food made with flour such as bread and biscuits. Fiber helps us to defecate, that is, to pass out feces. It is found mainly in fruits, root vegetables, that is vegetables that are mainly roots, green leafy vegetables. Green leafy vegetables would be vegetables that are mainly leaf and they are green such as callaloo, broccoli, pok choy, and lettuce. Fiber is also found in nuts, peas, and beans. So fiber helps us to defecate, that is to pass out feces. It is found mainly in fruits, root vegetables, green leafy vegetables, nuts, peas, and beans. Fat supplies us with heat and energy. It is found mainly in butter, margarine, and cooking oil. Some other foods are high in fat, such as pear, ackee, and peanuts. So pear, ackee, and peanuts are high in fat. Some of them are even mostly fat more than any other nutrient. So if you eat a lot of those foods, you, you can put on weight. But you can eat them still because they are very nutritious. So eat them in moderation. Not too much, not too little. Protein provides body maintenance, growth, and repair of body tissues. It is found mainly in animal products such as meats, fish, eggs, milk, and cheese. And it is also found a lot, a lot of it is also found in peas, beans, and nuts, such as peanuts and cashew and almond or almond. Vitamins help the body to fight against diseases. Vitamins are named after letters. Example, vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C, vitamin D, and so on. Vitamins are mainly Vitamins are found mainly in fruits, vegetables, and meats. Minerals provide bodybuilding. Some minerals, their uses and sources are calcium, build bone and teeth, found mainly in milk and green vegetables. Iron helps to make blood, found mainly in red meats such as liver and kidney. It is also found in green leafy vegetables such as callaloo and lettuce. Iodine helps to make the growth hormone found mainly in seafood such as fish. Sodium helps in body care or maintenance found mainly in salt. All foods contain water. Water has many uses. Included are keeping the body temperature constant or the same, helping with digestion of food, washing away on on washing away unwanted substances in our bodies. Water is a main part of our blood which travels throughout our bodies and helps in all body functions. Drink about six cups of water each day. A balanced diet is a diet of eating daily 
the foods that provide enough of all the nutrients needed by our bodies to function properly. That means enough protein, carbohydrate, fats, vitamins and minerals. Food tests are experiments that show the nutrients available in food. To test for starch, place iodine solution on the food and if it becomes bluish black, starch is present. To test for sugar, place Benedict solution on the food and if brick red tiny particles are formed, sugar is present. To test for fat, place food on a piece of paper and wet with water and if substance doesn't wash away, fat is present. That's this is because fat and water does fat and water do not mix together. So fat and water do not mix together. So they put them together. The, the the fat won't mix with the water. So that is why the fat doesn't wash away. Digestion is the process of breaking down food passing into the bloodstream for use by the body. All nutrients enter the blood and are used in different ways as the blood travels throughout the body. The digestive system is made up of the alimentary canal which is a tube that starts at the mouth and ends at the anus. The alimentary canal is made up of the gullet is made up of the gullet, the stomach, and small and large intestines. The liver and pancreas are also part of the digestive system, though not part of the alimentary canal. In the process of digestion, an enzyme in saliva and saliva is spit in the process of digestion an enzyme in saliva in your mouth changes starch to sugar as the food is chewed after swallowing the food enters the gullet which pushes the food to the stomach the food is made into liquid form in the stomach it then goes to the small intestine here different enzymes digest nutrients in the food. The digested nutrients then pass through the walls of the small intestine into the bloodstream. The nutrients are then carried by the blood throughout the body to be used in different ways depending on the nutrients. The undigested food passes into the colon which is a part of the large intestine excess or too much water is removed here leaving a half solid waste called feces the feces go to the rectum where it is stored until it is passed out of the body through the anus onto food chain a food chain is a group of living organisms linked together because they are food for each other a food web is a group of food chains interlinked together a food chain begins with a plant followed by a herbivore then followed by a carnivore or an omnivore. The arrows in a food chain point to the organism that does the eating. A herbivore is an animal that eats only plants. A carnivore is an animal that eats only animals. An omnivore is an animal 
that eats both plants and animals. So a food chain back to number 121. A food chain begins with a plant followed by a herbivore that is an animal that eats only plants. That is followed by either a carnivore, that's an animal that eats only animals, or an omnivore, an animal that eats only, but that an animal that eats both plants and animals. So the food chain begins with a plant, followed by a herbivore, then followed by a carnivore, or an omnivore. Plants make their own food by the process called photosynthesis. In photosynthesis, energy from the sun is combined with carbon dioxide and water along with chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is the green color in the leaves of plants. This forms a simple sugar named glucose. Oxygen is given off as a waste product. So in photosynthesis, energy from the sun is combined with carbon dioxide, water, and chlorophyll. Plants are called producers because they make their own food or they produce their own food. Animals are called consumers because they do not make their own food but rather rely on food from plants and other animals okay we're now on to eyes the eye is made up of the cornea iris pupil lens sclera retina blind spots optic nerve and muscles light from the object passes through the cornea in the eye then through the pupils then the lens the lens bends the light rays and focuses the image upside down onto the retina electrical messages then go to the optic nerve from the retina which send the messages to the brain the brain then interprets the message the right side up so actually when the image is focused on the retina it is upside down so when it goes to the brain it the brain turns it the right way up so you see things the right way up rather than upside down in bright light, the iris expands, that is, gets bigger, making the pupil smaller. So less light enters the eye. In dull light, the iris contracts, that is, it gets smaller, making the pupil larger. So more light enters the eye. Rods and cones are light sensitive cells in the eye. Rods let us see black and white and dull light. Cones let us see colors but only work in bright enough light. The blind spot has no rods or cones. Nearsightedness is the condition of being able to see near objects well, but unable to see far objects well. It is corrected with concave lens. Farsightedness is the condition of being able to see far objects well, but unable to see near objects well. It is corrected with convex lens. An optical illusion 
is an image that is not really present though it seems to be. A mirage is an example of an optical illusion. A mirage is the appearance of a body of water that is not really there. Optical illusions will disappear upon reaching close to them. They may be seen in the desert or on hot roads, for example. Now we're on to sound. Sound is produced when objects vibrate. The air is made up of the pinna, auditory canals, hammer, anvil, stirrup, eardrum, semicircular canals, eustachian tube, cochlea, and auditory nerve. The outer ear is also called the auricle or the pinna. Thank you for watching. You should watch these GSAT videos over and over again until you know them from memory. Repetition is important. You can always message me if you have any questions or need further help using my email address, my Facebook page or the telephone numbers that are shown on the screen. So bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.